Today we are going to try to sublimate on these Christmas stockings to make custom personalized gifts. Planning on customizing this top white part here. It should be made of polyester, so let's see if this works. Okay, so here's the printout. The problem is I didn't measure before I printed. So it's a little bit too long. I'm gonna have to shrink these down, but I will just use the same piece of paper and reprint it on the bottom here. So let me just do that and then we'll print it out again. So here's the resized image. Let's print this out and see if this works. Okay, tip number two. Let's take a look. There we go. So that was the first attempt. Here's the second. I made it a little smaller than I probably needed to, but it should work, I think. Okay, so it looks like I did the perfect size. Awesome, okay, I'm gonna cut these strips out and then we'll get to sublimating. Okay, so the stocking already came with like a piece of cardboard in here. So I'm just gonna leave it in there. So this is like a stocking from Dollar Tree, right? So it's a dollar and it's only decorated on the front side so there's only this fuzzy white part on the front and the glitter on the front and the back is plain which in a way is good for me because I don't have to worry about this side melting but in here I think they glued it on so it's kind of like a really scratchy thick web I think they just use like iron on interface so I'm afraid that when I heat it, it's going to activate the glue and melt together. But with this cardboard, hopefully it doesn't. And I'm going to try to just press just this edge so I don't melt anything else. Because this is suede. This is like a really soft suede. It's actually really beautiful. For a dollar, totally worth it. And yeah, for a personalized dog stocking, I think it's a great idea anyways I'm gonna just line this up here first things first classic te um, sublimation technique is to lint roll and you should preheat but I don't really want to heat this extra for no reason so I have my heat press set up for 400 degrees for 60 seconds my usual temperature hopefully that's not too hot because I don't know what material this is but I think this fleecy material is like a microfiber polyester so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to just tape down my image here I already have like a little crease to find the center though don't know if that will actually matter just don't want it to be super crooked. I'm going to tape this down with my heat tape. And I have scissors here to cut my tape. And then we'll be back for the press. Okay, so that's lined up as much as I can, I believe. So I'm just gonna lay this down here. Okay, I'm gonna lay this one. The other side for the other stocking and let's give this a go Definitely press through. You can see that up here. And uh -oh. I think it may have melted together. Oh no, I think we're going okay. I'm just gonna rip this off. Wow, that looks pretty good. Alright. Let's see. There we go. I think it. No, 
wasn't exactly centered, but you know, it'll do. Okay, no, it did melt a little bit. I'm going to pull this off here. It melted onto the cardboard. It definitely did melt onto the cardboard, but if you pull it off while it's hot, it's definitely okay. So, that is good. So you definitely want to put something in between or they will stick together. But the cardboard worked. It looks good. And yeah, it's just not super centered. You can see I have a thumb length here. And I have a little less than a thumb on this side. So it's just off by a little. But still cute. And then let's see if this is all fluffy or if I could fluff this back up or not. But yeah, very nice. Let's take a look. Cute. I think I just have to keep it down there like that. Or maybe I have to just press this back. No, that looks good. Okay, so there's one stocking. There's one stocking here. Cute. So we are to the red stocking to make one for Nas. And I think this is as even as I'm gonna get it. So it's the red stocking. So I'm just gonna place this on. And get the press. Go and press. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this one turned out. Ooh, hot. Okay. So that one definitely transferred as well. And yeah, I'm not good at putting things in the center. <laughs> this side has more room, this side has a little less, but at least both stockings will be matching. So yeah, that's cool. And you know what actually is a pro about pressing onto this glued section? It made it all smooth so it's not so rough anymore, which is cool. Because before it was like a webbing, like a really rough netting inside and now it's all melted and smooth but yeah i mean it turned out good it's not crooked or anything is it who knows hold on let's zoom out i'll give you guys a final reveal in one second okay here we go how cute is that if i had put them in the center it'd be cuter oh this must look a little crooked no it's okay they're just gonna be hanging if anything anyways there is a little tab in here somewhere like a little hanging tab I think on one of the sides maybe not oh, here we go see so it will just hang for your little pets stocking that is so cute I love it so I'm gonna stuff these with dog toys if only it were centered but when you do it it'll be centered okay look cute personalized Christmas stockings for your pets or forever for whoever cool anyways thanks for watching let me know what you think about this project in the comment box down below make sure to thumbs up I'll see you guys tomorrow okay bye